All right, so next up, we're going to talk about a few key enzymes in lipid transport. Our first one here is hepatic lipase. Now, hepatic lipase works within hepatocytes to degrade triglycerides within IDL particles. Now, after this process takes place, what do you think is formed? There you go, an LDL particle. And this LDL particle is then released back into systemic circulation. All right. So next up, we have hormone-sensitive lipase. Now this is an intracellular enzyme found mostly within adipocytes and works to degrade triglycerides stored within the adipocyte. And now while we're on it, do you happen to know which lipid-lowering agent inhibits this enzyme? Great, that'd be niacin or vitamin B3. And can you give me a few common side effects of niacin? There you go, flushing, hyperglycemia, and hyperuricemia. Now next up, we have lectin cholesterol acetyltransferase, or LCAT for short. Now LCAT is involved in the esterification of cholesterol. And what exactly does that mean? Well, it allows cholesterol to enter the core of lipoproteins, where it can be stored for transport. And LCAT is involved in about two-thirds of the cholesterol esterification process for plasma cholesterol. This enzyme is also required to get cholesterol into HDL to make a mature HDL molecule, as you can see here. Now, HDL that is not loaded with cholesterol travels from the liver, meets LCAT, and then loads up with cholesterol. Here, the loaded up HDL can take two paths. It can either go back to the liver, effectively reducing the amount of cholesterol systemically, or it can transfer cholesterol esters to other lipoproteins with the help of cholesterol ester transfer protein, or CETP. Here, HDL, with the help of CETP, can transfer cholesterol esters to other lipoproteins, such as VLDL, IDL, and LDL. Now next up, we have lipoprotein lipase. Now lipoprotein lipase is found on vascular endothelium, and it acts to degrade circulating triglycerides within chylomicrons and VLDL. And on each of these molecules, there's APOC2, which acts as a cofactor for lipoprotein lipase activation. And now while we're on it, do you remember the class of lipid-lowering agents that acts to upregulate lipoprotein lipase and increase triglyceride clearance? There you go, it's the fibrates. Now, can you name a few of the fibrates within this drug class? There you go, gemfibrozil and phenofibrate. And how about some common side effects? Great, they can cause myopathies, especially when they're used with statins and you also have an increased risk of cholesterol gallstones. Now, pancreatic lipase works within the intestine to convert dietary triglycerides into free fatty acids for absorption. And an important point to note here is that all lipases degrade triglycerides into free fatty acids, whether this be within the intestine, within the adipocyte, or within the plasma. All right, well that's gonna wrap us up for key enzymes and lipid transport. See you in the next video.